Kevin Pete. Yan ang longest senior basketball championship run sa UAAP na nagawa ng UE Red Warriors from 1965 to 1971. Anip, at bukod sa record-breaking championship streak, UE has also paved the way for exceptional PBA players na ating matutunghayan in just about now. Ang husay sa basketball ang naging daan para madiskubre ng isa sa mga Pinoy matinay idols ang kanyang career sa showbiz. Mula sa Amerika, umuwi siya dito sa Pilipinas, para maglaro ng basketball para sa UE Red Warriors. And that was a decade ago, 2008. Fast forward tayo sa panahon natin ngayon, 2018. Bukod sa kanyang achievements pagdating sa pelikula at uh, telebisyon, na-achieve na ni Sian Lim ang kanyang pangarap na maglaro ng competitive basketball. Tama. At ngayon nga, naglalaro nga si Sian para sa MPBL o Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. And now, he gets to look back at how his passion for the game led him to his journey right here in UE. MP, B, L. Leading man. Yes! Powerful! Matinee idol. At in-demand endorser. Siya si Alexander Cian Cruz Lim Uy o mas kilala bilang Cian Lim. Pero bago niya pasukin ang industriya ng showbiz, alam niyo ba na ang paglalaro para sa UE Red Warriors ang una niyang pakay sa pagpunta sa Pilipinas? Sabihin natin, started 2008. Uh, right after graduating high school in the States, sabi ko sa nanay ko, um, parang may gusto ako gawin something different. But I was playing basketball already in the States. Sabi ko, maybe... I can make it in the PBA. Sabi <laughs> kong ganun, maybe magiging, maybe magiging basketball player ako. So, sabi ko sa nanay ko, Mom, let's, let's, let's go to the Philippines. I want to I wanna see if I can make it to the PBA. I asked my, uh, my dad if he can help me out because my dad was a player um, back in his college days. He, he was, uh, my dad and uh, Alan Kaidik, they were the last champions of UE, <laughs> University of the East, back in the 80s. Uh, I went up to Coach Alan, tapos sabi ko, Coach Alan, baka maybe you can teach me a couple of things. Um, I'll go to UE, I'll, I'll do the process, I'll do training also. Pero ang hirap, ang hirap, ang hirap ng training. Aminadong huli na nang nagsimula sa basketball si Sian. 16 years old na siya nang matuto ng sport. Kaya hindi naging madali para sa kanya ang makasabay sa ibang atleta. It was hard. I, I, I mean, the skill, skill level, I wasn't quite there yet. Ang gagaling ng mga players during um, nung time namin, and it was so hard. I was, I was in reserve during the six month ng training. Sabi ko, I was asking around. Sabi ko, grabe kailang kaya ako makapaglaro ng U up. Sabi ko, gusto ko maglaro ng U up. And uh, what motivated me the most sa U up is ang ganda ganda yung dating ng mga players talaga. Iba kasi iba kasi pag player ka eh, naka, in, in the campus eh. pag dating mo pa lang alam na lang mga tao na player ka and they ha they all hang out together yung mga players eh. hindi naman mahirap mag mag mag, mag maki gel sa team. I think um, as long as you're there and you're working hard, I mean, I found a home in the UE Red Warriors during that time when I when I when I um, when I was in Team B. It felt uh, Coach Dindo Pumarin was really uh, patient. He 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 never made us feel na parang oh reserve lang kayo. He oh he always made it a point na we practice with um, with the lineup ng UAAP. So para just in case um, it's our time, dun siya kukuha. Pero iba na ang naging plano ng kapalaran para kay Sian. During that process, um, I couldn't play din eh sa UAP. I had to wait two years for residency because I'm, I came from the States. I could have played UAP if I waited for two years. Pero I think the fact na nawala si Dindo Pumarin and yung paghintay ng two years, I think that played a big, big role sa pag-audition ko. <laughs> kaya, kaya ko to! You have all the right to be. They were never there for us. I met my stylist, uh, si Ton Lau. Hobby niya, photography. Sabi niya, gusto mo ba mag-audition sa ABS? Do you want to try out being an actor? Kasi iba naman yung pagiging artista sa pagiging isang commercial model or for print. So yun, that's how it started. Campo 
Christmas crush to Kapamilya Heartthrob. Ay bukas na lang, ay babalik din naman ako eh. Ito na ang naging linya ni Sian with his teleserye hits. Ah, aray, aray! Pero para sa'yo naman, Sandy. At mga blockbuster romantic comedies. Kuwapo naman ni Kuya. Salamat. Mas nakilala pa siya bilang the other half of the popular yes, Kim C. Love Team. Luto ka na, lumapit ka na dun, don't be scared. Ang arte-arte mo, ito nga dito. At aminado siyang nakatulong sa kanyang showbiz career ang mga natutunan niya bilang atleta. It was also a struggle then, kasi completely yung environment mo. Never in my life naisip ko magiging artista ako. Even, ay, hindi nga ako bibukid eh. <laughs> Being an athlete, I think lahat ng nag excel Uh, sa sports, sa pagiging artist, they're just obsessed with what they're doing. And kitang-kita yun sa, sa lahat ng uh, magagaling. At kahit isang full-time actor na si Sian, he never gave up on his basketball dream. Kaya ngayon, masaya siyang maging bahagi ng Mandaluyong El Tigre sa MBPL. Sian in 4-3. Hindi ko inexpect talaga na na makakabalik ako sa basketball. It's been so long. <laughs> Mahal ko talaga ang basketball. I mean, for those for those who know me, I I love basketball. I I play it. But to be in a uh, MPBL semi-pro or pro, I found out na merong tryouts for Mandaluyong, for the El Tigre team. Maybe I should give this a try. Maybe, maybe lang. Baka makapasok. And, I don't know. For some reason, eto uh, I came knocking in the door the opportunity nandiyan finally nung nagkat na sila ng lineup nakita ko yung ka-teammate ko noon sa UE co-team B ko pareho kaming team B noon uh, si John Royal Abanza pareho kaming team B and it's weird it's a full circle nakakatuwa lang na parang ano uh, hindi mo talaga malala you, you'll, you're never gonna ano eh you're never gonna know what you're gonna be doing and kung mahal mo talaga isang bagay don't give up on it Diba, don't waste that time kasi babalik at babalik din naman siya sa'yo. Yun din naman ang gagawin mo eh. Sa lahat ng tinamasa niyang tagumpay ngayon, hindi nakakalimutan ni Sian kung saan siya nagsimula. UE is where I started eh. And uh, to be part of that community. Uh, Siyempre, when people say, Oh, Red Warrior yan eh. Red Warrior yan, taga UE yan. You know, I feel proud. I feel proud na... I feel proud that that's why people know people know me na dun ako, dun ako pumasok and you know I went through the same struggles then as most kids na that are trying to make it I'm really grateful and dami kong baon dun sa school na yun and dami kong kumbaga people there work hard Oh guys this is insane Coach Alan K. Dick just messaged me. Huh? Alan K. Dick, Lee K. Dick, hits a three. At kwento ni Sian Lim, ang UE Red Warrior na talagang lodi niya at ng maraming Pilipino dahil sa iniwang marka sa UAAP at PBA ay ang kanyang ninong na si Alan K. Dick. Ikaw pa. Gagaling po ba ang pag-three points ko dito pag sinakyo? ka lang. Siya ang itinuturing na greatest shooter of Philippine basketball at PBA 25 greatest players of all time at kilala bilang the trigger man. Pero bago maging legend ng Philippine basketball si Alan kay Dick, he once wore jersey number 11 for the University of the East. Siya ang isa sa mga huling nakapagbigay ng UAAP championship sa UE Red Warriors. Hi, I'm Alan kay Dick wearing jersey number 11. Uh, naglaro ako sa UE noong 1981 hanggang 1985. Look at Kaidik, checking the ice from way out. It's a three-point shot. Well, siguro influence ng father ko. My father used to play basketball sa province namin sa Laguna. And siguro yung dream niya na maging player na rub off sa akin. Well, it's a struggle at first kasi during that time, uh, sabi nga ng tatay ko, uh, sige, kailangan kang mag-try out para makatulong sa college. Yung scholarship ba? Yun yung objective. And then, I, first na tinry out ang quest dati na yung team. Uh, unfortunately, hindi ako nakuha doon. Tapos after that, sa Mapua, And hindi rin ako nakuha. So, nung malapit na yung enrollment, uh, sabi, punta ka ng UE, may kakilala yung uncle ko doon, uh, dating player ng UE, si Coach uh, si Oman De, De Vera. 
uh, nilapit nila ako sa coach. Uh, that, the coach that time was uh, Bert Flores. Sa madaling salita, hindi rin ako nakuha kasi form na yung team. So sabi sa akin ng coach, maglaro ka muna sa intrams and uh, next year, bumalik ka sa summer, mag-tryout ka ulit. Cross-court pass. Hey, Dick with a turnaround. He banks it in. He got the bounce. Eh na yun, doon na nag-umpisa yun. Bali, tayo tuli ako. Uh, yun, nakuha na ako that time. And may, may halong swerte na rin kasi may mga nagsabi sa akin na during that time, si Coach Baby Dalupan, uh, siya ang athletic director namin dati sa UE. Uh, nakita niya ako sa practice. Eh, mahilig sa kaliwete yun eh. If you look at the history ng UE, maraming mga players na umakyat sa PBA talagang sumikat, mga kaliwete. Sabi niya doon sa coach, kunin niya yan, pagtsagaan niya yan. Sabi niya, mapapakinabangan natin yan. Nakuha ko, inabsorb ako sa pool, nakakasama ko, pero wala ako sa line-up. And, ayun, doon na nag-umpisa yun. Tapos, the following year, nagpalit ng coach, gumraduate yung mga seniors, nagkaroon ako ng break. Nag-champion kami noon, and then, Luckily, nakuha ko pa yung MVP, my first MVP. So, basically, kung UAAP, I played five seasons, nakatatlong championship kami. Yung last two is yung back-to-back. -back. Hopefully this year, they can go for a second straight title. Cotinera, Tukaitik, he's open. And the rest is history, sabi nga nila. Sa kanyang collegiate career, tatlong kampionato ang inuwi niya para sa UE. Well, nung first two years, first three years, uh, talagang ano, aral. Kasi nga, sabi ko nga, hindi, especially nung first year dahil hindi ako naglaro, hindi ako nakuha. So, aral ako. Sige lang. Tapos, pagdating nung mga succeeding years na may, pra may, ano na, may practice na, nakasama ka na sa team, na nahahati na ngayon yon yung aral at saka yung basketball. But at the end of the day, isipin mo, hindi, malaki rin na naitulong ng basketball sa karir ko, sa pamilya ko. Doon na naging direction ko. At pagdating sa PBA, walang makapipigil sa mga 3 points si kay Dick. Siya ang nag-set ng PBA record na 79 points at 17 three-point shots sa isang laro. Eh, nakakabit na sa akin hanggang ngayon yung record ko nung when I got the record yung 79 points na uh, pinapanganak yung eldest namin. So yun, yun 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 na nakakabit talaga sa akin lagi. Siyempre, andyan din yung mga, yung nag-MVP ako sa PBA, andyan yung mga championships ko, my first championship. Pero yun yung ano, talagang nasa ibabaw yung 79 points. Talagang makulay ang naging basketball career ni Alan Kaide at lahat ng ito ay bunga ng oportunidad na ibinigay sa kanya ng University of the East. Ang basketball talaga, especially now, napakahirap, halos lahat, uh, malalakas ang teams, but you just had to fight it out for the school. Yung warrior na ano, ilabas mo para whatever happens, kung hindi man kayo pala rin, eh, at least you played your best. Mapa sports, academics, advocacy o iba pang larangan, talagang ramdam ang tapang ng mga Red Warriors. At siguradong abangan pa natin ang malabomba nilang performance ngayong UAP Season 81. Ika nga nila, bomba UE. Pero next week, samahan nyo kami sa pagbisita sa home of the Tamarao. Sasakay lang tayo ng jeep papuntang Moraita mm. para mas makilala pa ang mga pusong palaban ng Far Eastern University. Tuloy-tuloy ang ating pagbibigay po guys sa legacy ng iba't ibang universities kaya naman. See you guys next week. This is Utah Season 3.